Hello, I'm Arthur Noxon, President of Acoustic Sciences. Now, what we're going to talk about now is um, soundproofing and ventilation. How most people do recording in real recording studios from the bottom of the feed chain to the top of the feed chain is they just turn the air conditioning off, okay? That's how difficult it is to have a quiet air conditioning. But you still have ducts that can carry sound from one place to another. And so you want to make those ducts soundproof and sound absorbing. One of the neat ways that I've found to make a duct sound absorbing is you have a round duct because it's round metal. Okay, and, and uh, every once in a while it's got a screw sticking in it that's holding the duct together because they're three foot or six foot lengths pushed together like a stovepipe. And, and they got screws in them. Now, the, the screws ruin everything because it's hard to slide a, a, a nice round air conditioning sound absorbing tube inside of something that's full of screws. But what you can do is you can take a piece of sound absorbing material like this two-inch air conditioning duckboard, peel the paper off the back side, cover it in some sort of air conditioning fabric. Uh, there's a special fabric that they use for air conditioning systems. And, but before you cover it, you cut it into a shape. You cut it into a shape that looks like this. And you make that four feet long. And you push it in the duct as far as you can. And when you run into a nail, you rotate it. Miss the nail, keep going. Get a post, push it deeper in. Take the next one, shove it in, and, and the next one you shove in at an angle like this. And if you can shove another one in, keep pushing them down and put another one in at an angle like this. And don't forget, the leading edge and the trailing edge of these are also tapered. So this piece might be three foot long and eight feet in diameter, the front edge of this, if I have a top view, it looks like this. And the air flows like this around it. So no, there's no sharp corners. It's like a, the front end of an airplane or front of a boat. So the front and back, not only are the sides beveled to miss the nails, but the front and back are beveled in order to, to part the air. And you'd be surprised. It barely chokes the air off, and it tremendously, aggressively knocks down noise coming in and out of your room. The last thing about air conditioning ducts and studios, the bigger the better. The slower the air speed, the quieter they are. Okay? One of the biggest problem in air conditioning ducts is, yeah, sound going through the ducts. The other problem is air's going too fast, this whistling eddy currents are being built, and you just get this turbulence, this low-end turbulence. Okay, thanks.